There's drool-worthy New Orleans flavor and year-round Thanksgiving dinner. But should you really be taking a dip in a certain free-flowing dessert? Not every dish at Golden Corral is worth hitching your wagon to. This protein-packed option fits in with many popular eating plans where carbs are forbidden, but fats and protein are encouraged. To be sure, the 240 calories, 15 grams of fat, and 460 milligrams of sodium per serving are a hearty helping. But a pretty serious 19 grams of protein helps to tilt the scale in fried chicken's favor. Pairing a piece or two with vegetables or a low-carb green salad can keep you in the healthy zone as well. And clearly, loyal Golden Corral diners can't get enough of this crispy option. As one person declared on Reddit, I don't care what anyone else says, their fried chicken is delicious. Eat it with your hands, that's how you're supposed to. I can't do that. Eat it, come on, take it, take it, take it. I gotta drive, ten and two on the wheel, come on. Seafood lovers rejoice. A six-piece serving of Golden Corral's Golden Fried Shrimp comes in at 210 calories and only nine grams of fat, while providing nine grams of protein. That's not too shabby for a battered crustacean. Depending on the location, you can also try variations like smoky garlic shrimp skewers, premium butterfly shrimp, or mandarin orange shrimp. Having a choice between fried and grilled shrimp expands your options for enjoying a seafood meal the way you want it. Opting for the fried version might be a little less healthy, but as long as you keep your portion sensible, you can enjoy it without feeling lost at sea. It's always a blessing when an all-you-can-eat buffet includes a salad bar. Vegans and vegetarians can enjoy a robust selection of mixed greens topped with raw veggies and a variety of seeds, nuts, and other healthful power foods. A careful drizzle of dairy and egg-free dressing like Italian vinaigrette can keep the added calories and sugar under control. With a saucy spud from the baked potato bar on the side, you have a well-balanced, plant-based meal. In addition to the usual iceberg lettuce, you may also find spinach at the salad bar. By loading up on these more nutritious greens, you can add iron and antioxidants to your super salad. And if one serving isn't enough, you can certainly return for seconds without feeling overstuffed. Let me guess, tiny, a small salad? The smoky sweet bourbon street chicken is one of the most popular dishes in the Golden Corral lineup. A three-ounce serving of this browned poultry marinated in bourbon teriyaki will set you back only 170 calories and 9 grams of fat. And the 19 grams of protein arguably make up for the fat content. Even the salt is kept to a relatively agreeable 350 milligrams of sodium. Served on a bed of rice or with a baked potato, you have a combination that won't throw your eating goals overboard. And for diners looking for a solid take-home option, the to-go menu offers Bourbon Street chicken in a family-style pan that serves 10 diners. Baked fish is nearly always a healthy go-to option for any restaurant. And at Golden Corral, it's one of the best choices you can make. Not only is fish a healthy source of omega-3 fatty acids, but baked fish retains more of these essential nutrients than its fried or grilled versions. The plain baked fish puts you in the sweet spot, with only 8 grams of fat per 150 calorie serving. If you opt for the baked fish with lemon butter herb sauce, you'll still be downing a meager 150 calories, though with 13 grams of fat and 7 grams of protein per 3-ounce serving. Depending on the particular location, you may find other baked fish options with sauces added for flavor, which will naturally alter the nutritional value. Luckily, since buffet eating invites more than just a 3-ounce serving of fish, you have plenty of room left to add healthy steamed veggies on the side. Who doesn't love a restaurant that lets you enjoy Thanksgiving dinner all year round? This is one of the most innocent options in the Golden Corral lineup when it comes to nutrition. With a slim 110 calories, 6 grams of fat, and 15 grams of protein per serving. But if you're trying to keep it healthy, you may want to steer clear of starchy additions like rolls and mashed potatoes, which can quickly foul up the fowl you've so smartly chosen. Speaking of Thanksgiving, Golan Corral has begun offering a full turkey day spread for diners who prefer a restaurant-prepared meal rather than doing the cooking themselves. Depending on the location, you can find a full spread with all the fixings, served with the same items in this bountiful spread that appear on the usual menu. A food often stuffed, you said! <laughs> and that gave you... 21! 
dessert at an all-you-can-eat buffet is often a risk, largely due to the unlimited quantities of sugar and rich dairy available. But if you can resist temptation and control your portions, you can enjoy some vanilla soft serve. A half cup serving offers a modest 110 calories with only two grams of fat. While the carbs weigh in at 22 grams, it's a far cry from the 240 calories and 12 grams of fat you'd get with a slice of carrot cake. The fact that soft serve is dispensed from a chiller also means that you'll have the best maintained option at the bar when it comes to freshness and temperature control. And if vanilla is a little plain for you, you can always doctor it up with some toppings. If you're worried about added sugar and calories, though, opt for a 20-calorie cake cone to add a little crunch. You can't go wrong with baked potatoes, as they're loaded with nutritional powerhouses like fiber and potassium. At Golden Corral, a potato on its own is a satisfying 160 calories, with 4 grams each of protein and fiber. When you top it with broccoli, green onions, a sprinkle of cheese, and a sensible portion of bacon bits, you come up with a classic stuffed potato that's both delicious and nutritious. Or you can season it with a splash of salsa and goodies from the salad bar for a spicier take. Spicy! <laughs> There's great news for sweet potato fans as well. As Golden Corral also serves these nutritional power players in their buffet, skip the butter on this healthful tuber and you'll be taking in 110 clean calories, 2 grams of protein, and 4 grams of fiber. Maybe an upscale version of pizza rolls sounds like a great party food, but when the option is Golden Corral's fried cheese raviolis, it's anything but a celebration. A six-piece serving may only come in at 146 calories, but it also contains a whopping 12 grams of fat. That's not exactly the best ratio, especially for something that's presented as an appetizer or side. What's more? If these little pillows of disappointment sit under the heat lamp too long, their texture becomes akin to cardboard. So skip the raviolis and opt for something less disappointing, as just about anything else will do. Mac and cheese is a widely beloved side that turned into a true blue American dish in the mid-20th century with the advent of processed and packaged food. But when you scoop out a serving of the real stuff, strung with real cheese and real white sauce, then you're probably in for a really unhealthy meal. And beyond the fact that 48% of the calories of Golden Corral's version are from fat, the flavor just isn't there. Proper mac and cheese needs to be rich and gooey. So when online reviewers describe Golden Corral's version as rubbery and well-made, mass-produced portions, you know the soul has been stripped out of this beloved dish. Simply put, you're better off making your own version at home. Chipped beef may conjure nostalgic memories for some, but sliced beef afloat in a creamy bechamel is best left in the past. The plain truth is that this dish just isn't appealing, no matter who serves it. The recipe was originally meant to be mass-produced to serve soldiers on the cheap, and so it became a familiar, if not entirely elevated, flavor for service members. Maybe the best thing that can be said about chipped beef is that there sure is a lot of it. The fact that it appears on Golden Corral's unlimited menu means there are options for diners of all tastes out there, but with such a broad array of other, more contemporary options, it's both easy and sensible to omit this old-fashioned creation from your plate. One of the most indulgent desserts around, bread pudding is a carb-loaded comfort food that has never done anyone any favors when it comes to keeping your health in check. It may taste delicious, but most things soaked in eggs, bread, and sugar usually do. That doesn't exactly justify downing all those extra calories and unfriendly ingredients, though. That's too much, man! <laughs> bread pudding is typically made from day-old bread so you're not exactly starting out with the freshest of ingredients. The possibility of day-old rolls that have been sitting under a heat lamp making their way into this dessert strips away whatever magic the sugary custard might add. And at 270 calories per gloppy, soupy half-cup serving, there are far better ways to spend your daily calorie allotment. This down-home favorite might be tempting, but piling a heaping portion of the Golden Corral pot roast on your plate is nothing short of a colossal mistake. This beloved roast is reportedly slow-cooked for 12 hours in order to create some ultra-tender and juicy meat. Unfortunately, the results of all that work are not quite so favorable. 
resulting in a final product that's often dry and difficult to chew. That sounds more like jerky than pot roast to us. The biggest disappointment may be the fact that this is one of the healthier choices you can make among the chain's beef options. But when the promise of tender roast made by professionals gives way to something you could easily fail at in your own kitchen, it should go straight to the bottom of your options. While the mini steak burgers may seem pretty harmless to down as part of a meal, the nutrition facts say otherwise. Sure, you get 17 grams of protein, but each slider also packs in 260 calories and 14 grams of fat, with one-third your daily value of saturated fat. That's seriously troubling for one little three-and-a-half-ounce burger. And that's not even taking the bacon-topped version into consideration, which offers up 290 calories and 16 grams of fat. And when they're this cute and inviting, nobody eats just one. You're in for at least a double or even a triple serving if your eyes are bigger than your stomach. So while seeing the adorable little burgers in their endearingly tiny buns may trigger love chemicals in your buffet-addled brain, don't be taken in by these little saboteurs. They may seem small and innocent, but do yourself a favor and resist. Resistance is futile. Perhaps the most unsanitary food since unpasteurized dairy, the chocolate fountain is at least a fascinating conversation piece. It draws curious adults and unsupervised kids to an array of treats to bathe in the flowing melted chocolate. But it doesn't take a food inspector to recognize the lack of sanitation in this open, recirculated flow of ingredients. Cross-contamination from food is one thing, but the possibility of some bacteria-laden chocolate getting in the mix and recirculating for hours is too much. Simply put, liquid chocolate has never done anyone any favors. Let's not forget what happened to Augustus Gloop when he got too close to the Fudge River in Willy Wonka's factory. With a number of children using their unwashed hands to fish out their treats, there's no telling what might be floating in the Golden Corral chocolate fountain. No Oompa Loompa song in the world could finger wag you enough for indulging in this temptation, so it's best to sidestep this microbe trap altogether.